Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are still working in this bathroom makeover. If you missed last week's video, go check it out because you saw how we demoed the floors and ran into a few problems along the way. So you'll need to know that information before you check out today's video so you can see exactly where this bathroom started. So this is how far we got. We got like three quarters of the flooring in. So I have the toilet, but I am still waiting on this flooring to come in and then we can set the toilet. So while we wait on that, I really wanna shift my attention to this vanity right here. I have changed my plans on this vanity so many times. I was thinking, should I just rip it out and get a new one? Should I build a new one? And the reason that I want to do something with it is because the vanity is super low. It's only 30 inches, which hits me like below my hip. And my 11 year old daughter is almost as tall as I am. So that's not gonna work for very much longer for my kids. So, and also it doesn't have tons of storage or the storage isn't being used great. It just has the cabinet doors. I think I've come up with a plan to address all of that. I decided to keep the cabinet, but I'm just going to modify it because I am willing to bet that tons of you at home watching this right now have a builder grade cab cabinet just like this that you want to update. So I'm going to leave this side over here that's gonna be open storage on the inside. But for inside here, I am going to build drawers that pull out when you open up these cabinet doors but I want them to be big and wide, which means this guy can't be here. So my solution to that is just build new cabinet doors because I don't love these anyway. And so I think we can build four cabinet doors that will match what we're going for in here a lot better. Okay, the doors are off and for this middle piece, I don't know how this is attached. A lot of times there are pocket holes behind it, but these are not assembled this way. They could just be glued, maybe some nails. So I'm hoping that if I just bang on it a little bit, we'll be able to get this out. Okay, time to work on these cabinet doors. I am using the current cabinet doors as a template for my height and the placement of my hinges. I'm just going to make ones that extend. They're going to be wider so we don't have to have that middle piece. I need to add the holes right here like this for the hinges. So I'm using this Craig jig right here that allows me to drill a hole straight down and it'll be even on like the depth will be the same and everything and it'll be even on each end. Okay, I tested the cabinet doors. I just wanted to make sure that that was, they were going to fit correctly and they do. That's not how they're going to end up looking. I just wanted to, this is the main part that needs to fit. So, and I've been thinking about it. I only made two and I just thought is I'm already building two 
boxes here for two big drawers. Why not just make two shelves instead of building the drawers and then building two more cabinet doors. It'll just be more convenient if you can just pull it open and it'll be two big um, drawers right here. Okay, now that we have these installed, we can get this measurement between these two and that is the width of our drawer. This is how I'm going to assemble these drawers. I have some scrap material that's the same thing of the strips I just cut and I am cutting a groove into it, but that is not wide enough because we have quarter inch plywood and we want it to fit inside this groove. So I'm gonna move my saw blade after I cut one little strip because that's one eighth of an inch. The, your blade is that wide. After I do that, I'm gonna move my blade over an eighth and it'll make a wider groove that our plywood, our one quarter inch plywood will just fit right into. And then I will screw these outside pieces together and then we'll have two drawers. Okay, the drawers are in. They just need the faces on the front of them. But we're gonna pause on that because look what finally came in. We've got the flooring so we can finish laying this and install the new toilet. Our first row is gonna be a little bit tricky because we're having to cut around this toilet piece. For this piece, I'm just gonna kind of lay it where it needs to go. And I'm gonna use this bowl, which is like the same size as this. That'll give us a good starting point on where to cut on this board.
Okay, all the flooring is in. I still have to do baseboards and I have to, I'm gonna seal it all up right there and then put a piece of trim too so I don't have to worry ever about the water getting underneath the floors. These floors are water resistant but still I wanna try to protect it as much as I can by the shower. But now it is time to install the toilet because we finally can and my kids are gonna be so excited because it's a grown up size toilet, not a baby one like was there before. Okay, floors are in, toilet is in. Now we're gonna go back to working on this vanity and what I wanna do the last thing probably in this video will be um, adding the drawer fronts and the cabinet fronts and I want to do kind of a shaker style. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. I got my cabinet doors and my drawer fronts. Those are made out of the same material as the cabinet doors. And if you're wondering why I use that over plywood, it's because this side right here is already finished no matter where I rip it. Whereas if I was using plywood, I would have to edge band the sides and that would be more work, which is fine if you want to do it that way, but I just chose to do it like this. But what I'm going to do is sand down the tops, not the sides, just the tops right now with a 220 grit just to get them super smooth. Now that everything is sanded, this is how I'm making the shaker style doors. These are bender boards, which you guys have seen me use before if you've been following my channel for a while to do accent walls. And I cut these down to, or I ripped them down to two inches wide. And then I am just gluing them onto the cabinet fronts and the drawer fronts, I'm not nailing them because they're not structural and I don't want to have to worry about like filling holes in the front and sanding and everything. I'm already going to have to fill like the, the joints, but this is how I'm getting a budget friendly shaker style look. Okay, the cabinet doors and the drawer fronts are on and I forgot one part. Can you see what I'm missing? I totally forgot about this piece right here that goes in between the drawers. So I'm just gonna go take the measurements, go rip a board down on my table saw and I will use pocket holes and screw it into each side.
Okay, so what's left in the bathroom? This vanity is definitely not done. We need to paint and add hardware. And we're also going to raise the vanity up because it's super low right now. We're gonna need a new countertop, a new sink and faucet. We need a new shower curtain. We need a new or update the mirror, new light. We need to paint. We need an accent wall. We need so much stuff, so lots still to come. That's it for today's video. Make sure that you're subscribed because we have so many projects left to do in this bathroom and you don't wanna miss it. I will see you guys next week. Bye.